Hello and welcome to part two of this uh, somewhat of a Blu-ray clusterfuck of an update, DVD, whatever, even a laser disc. So this is part two, as I said. Part one was my showcasing of Rama one half, the season one limited edition limited yeah limited edition set. So if you would like to check that out, feel free to do so. Um, it's on my channel right now. So uh, check that out if you like. Oh, and my Captain America review, uh, the Captain America: The Winter Soldier, that is. Also on my channel, if you've yet to check out the film, want to check out a review, feel free to check that and check out my review right there. So, anyways, enough plugging. Let's get down to nitty gritty here. Uh, one of my favorite movies of all time, and it's been a wrestling because it's in my top three, and I'm really not too sure what's number one, but I will say, Who Framed Roger Rabbit is in the top three. And I love the film so much. I had a very huge. It had a very huge impact on me as a kid. I really thought it was one of the scariest, most funny, but most inventive and awesome things I could have ever seen as a child, being like six years old when I saw this film, four years old even. And this is the very VHS tape I had growing up. It's beat beyond belief. It's just so shredded up and worn. And to prove that even more so, I'll show you the actual, let me see here. The tape, this thing has fallen off. It's completely worn. I'm not even sure if this tape even works. I do have a VHS. Uh, I do have a VCR. And the film seems to be intact still, I guess. But look at this thing. It's so worn out. I watched this so much as a kid. One of the tapes that I've kept to this day. And I just decided, for some reason, ever since I had seen one of uh, these YouTubers purchased just various VHS, Laserdisc, and all these other old formats of video, I decided to just, and it's going to be very quick, obviously, because it's not very many formats available anymore, is to get all forms of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. The only DVD I would like to get, because granted, this has the DVD already, which could get very redundant, but I just want it for the collectible value, because I love this film that much to own it on multiple formats. I have it on Blu-ray. I have it on DVD technically, because it is in there, got the VHS tape, and I want to purchase the first DVD print. It's out of print beyond belief by this point, but that has this cover, because I just like that. That looks so cool and classic. I love this cover right here. It may be a look, it, it may look a little photoshoppy or whatever you want to call it, overly, or just oddly edited with just the characters thrown in at the bottom, but I like it. It still makes sense to me. I don't know why, but the point of this uh, startup of the video is that I found this for $10 at my local half price books. Look at this thing. Laser disc. Holy shit. I mean, this thing is... I, I've never bought records before in my life. Uh, I think my parents used to have a few records, but I never messed with any of this shit. I think this is so fantastically awesome, man. I, I don't know. I, 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 can't, I have no words. It's just such a simple little thing in life that makes me happy. Uh, whether it be family moments or... Blu-ray, DVD, and all forms of media and art stuff drives me nuts with joy. I mean, I know I'm confusing all my words right now, but I don't have any words. This is so fucking awesome. I love it. I really wish I could watch it, but uh, I am not going to be hunting down a laser disc player anytime soon. But this, for 10 bucks, was worth it because I love the film. I love the artwork on this, and it's practically new. Like, it's still shiny. It's very glossy still. It's got a few nicks here, there, see the, the the whole, it's a laser disc, I'm sure it's been worn down a little bit. It's got a few nicks and scuffs, but it was brand spanking new to me, basically. It's fucking awesome. And I love the film that much to own it on multiple formats. It's worth it, in my opinion, because it is one of the best movies of all time, in my humblest of opinions, and... I'm very happy to start up a small collection of laser discs. I'm really hoping to buy some Batman films, a few Tim Burton films, Ghostbusters. I really would like to have Ghostbusters. I still need to get Ghostbusters on fucking Blu-ray again because that steelbook looks fucking legit from the UK, so I'm trying to hunt that down. So I'm very, very happy to have this in my collection right now. Just ecstatic. Very happy to find the wondrous classic memorabilia of laser disc so it looks pretty cool and aside from that one particular out of print dvd that i'm hunting down i will be very happy with this little collection right here 
Maybe even getting the Vista series DVD, but even then, eh, I would prefer the classic style. And to quickly wrap up this video, I purchased a DVD and another Blu-ray recently. First up again from Half Price Books, Donald Glover, weirdo. This guy is on fire. I hate the fact that he, uh, I don't hate it, but I guess I, I, I guess I respect him a little bit too. I, I kind of didn't like the choice of him leaving community, but it's his choice. He's a, and he, he's a very respectable actor and comedian and, and also rapper. Um, but I hope he does well with his future career. He's great in the few movies he's been in. This is a fantastic special. If you've yet to see this and if you enjoy the comedy that he's done on Community, this is for you. And for $7.49, couldn't pass it up. Half Price Books had it at a sweet price right there. And last but definitely not least, and something I'm very much looking forward to revisit because I haven't watched in about two and a half years, that is Garden State on Blu-ray. This just came out in March and everywhere I saw it, $14.99, $14.99. And I honestly just thought, fuck that, I'm not going to even bother this and that. It, it's too much. For a catalog title, I never want to pay that much. Maybe $10, but that's about it. $7.99 at Best Buy right now. For those of you who have to hunt through the bins, go for it because that's where I found this one at. They didn't have it anywhere displayed in their $7.99 titles, which I kind of found that weird. It went brand new release to dump bin. That's how quick it went. So I guess it didn't sell very well. So Zach Braff, maybe your Kickstarter thing fucked a lot of people over and, and didn't like didn't appreciate that. I don't know. Lots of special features. I don't know if my camera will focus again. Audio commentaries, deleted scenes. And this artwork right here, as much as I love it, I don't know, I'm assuming 500 Days of Summer copied that particular look. And that just, the first thing I thought of was 500 Days of Summer. That's what I looked at. So, but this movie did get released before then. So, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, Zach Braff was great. He had a excellent uh, writing and directing in, in this film. Natalie Portman, uh, what's his name? Peter Sarsgaard? What? Shit. Ah, yeah, Peter Sarsgaard, yeah, all of them have great chemistry on screen, some great cameos from, um, like, Jim Parsons from the uh, Big Bang Theory, he was in this film for, like, a brief couple minutes, and that was awesome, looking back, so, very happy to have all these titles, very happy to have my first laser disc, and I'm very happy it is one of my favorite movies of all time right there, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, so, thank you so much for watching, uh, if you did check out my first part, my Ranma one half video thank you so much for checking that out thank you for checking this video out just thank you for watching in general feel free to comment below like subscribe and all that other good stuff in between so until next time i'm anthony flores with worth a watch and we'll see you in the next video